guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 36 and 37 week bump date. So, like I just said, today is my 36 and 37 week bump date. Tomorrow, meaning Tuesday, don't know when this is getting uploaded, but I will officially be 38 weeks pregnant and that is crazy. With that being said, this could potentially be the last bump date video that I film, so that's even crazier to think about. Before we hop into this video, I just want to address that I am in a new location. Um, I finally got my lovely rocker and so it's all set up this corner's all set up um, you can't really see much but I have shelves and pictures and that and this is actually a lot more convenient to sit in than on a bouncy ball or to sit on the floor over near my door like I used to so I'm not gonna ramble too much longer so let's just go ahead and talk about what's been happening. So as far as symptoms have been going, the heartburn has been unreal. I literally have it every day, multiple times a day. It is so bad. I I don't even know what to say. Like this kid better have a lot of hair because this heartburn, I'm not feeling it. I'm not going through all this heartburn to have a bald baby, so. On top of the discomfort and the pain of heartburn, I am still struggling very much with my SPD. If you haven't been following and you don't know, I have SPD, which stands for Symphius Pubic Dysfunction. It basically is this thing that pregnant women go through sometimes where your body releases the hormone called relaxin which relaxes and loosens the ligaments in the pelvis bone. So basically, my hips are breaking and I'm still going to the chiropractor twice a week, but for the last two weeks to even the last month, it's just been, I'm getting to the point where I need him to come out for my own health purposes because I, I'm in so much pain that I can't even go to the bathroom, I can't get in and out of the car, I can't get out of bed, I can't get in bed. It literally is the most painful thing I've ever had to experience other than probably childbirth which is about to come. It's just frustrating because I at least know when I'm going through labor that I'm getting a baby out of it. And I've been dealing with this SPD since like 22 weeks probably. So it has been a very long time. It's been most of my pregnancy I've been dealing with this hip pain. And it was getting manageable with the chiropractor, but now it's just really not doing anything. And the pain is getting to the point that it pushes me to the point of crying. Crying out of frustration because I can't do anything, but crying out of being in pain and it's not something that every pregnant person will experience only 25% of pregnant women experience this and there's different severities of it but just because I have it with this pregnancy doesn't mean I'll necessarily have it with future pregnancies so it's really all just how your body wants to react I guess so that has not been too fun um, especially when you're trying to get ready for a baby and do things and you can't move. I guess kind of going along with the whole pain and uncomfortableness has been my contractions. So I have been getting a lot, a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, Braxton Hicks contractions are like fake contractions. They're just your body like preparing um, to go into real labor, but I have been having a lot of them. They're not painful. It just feels like a lot of pressure and then like my belly gets hard and then it lasts for a little bit. Like right now I think I may be having them. They're not painful whatsoever and so 
They also have not been dilating me because they're not real contractions. So I've had them. Sometimes they can be pretty regular, um, but they're not ever to the point where it would be considered like labor to me. For the last two weeks I have been checked both weeks and I am not dilated so I actually have an appointment today so hopefully. Next this is kind of like a little like TMI so if you are uncomfortable by this then my apologies but I mean it's it's part of being a woman and part of being pregnant, I guess. But I literally feel like I've been punched like down there in my vagina. So I don't know if it's the pressure of him being in my pelvis or anything, but it's not even like pressure. It's literally like I feel like I'm bruised. So like, <laughs> it's really weird, but I mean, it's something new that's come up and I hear a lot of women talking about it so I guess it's common um, but yeah it's just it's not a fun feeling whatsoever so I'm trying to think of everything that's happened because I I feel like there was a lot that went on and I don't want to miss anything so last week at my appointment um, they said my blood pressure was slightly elevated so I've been checking it and it's been normal at home so I think it could have just been because I was getting up and down off the table and that probably raised my heart rate which raised my blood pressure so I'm going today and they're going to um, you know check to make sure everything is okay my doctor has mentioned that we may talk about induction if my blood pressure is high again or you know as it gets later on in the pregnancy um, maybe like next week uh, I don't know how I feel about being induced um, it's not set in stone whatsoever but I really want to go into labor naturally I really don't want Pitocin or anything like that. Um, if there's natural ways to induce me, then I'm all for it, but I really don't want to be medically induced. Obviously, unless there was a medical reason that would be life-saving to me or him. So, but as much as I want him out, I don't really 100% want to be induced. So. I don't know um, I'm really hoping I was guessing on him coming out within this week this last week of August um, but I don't know it doesn't look like that's gonna happen straying away from the medical side of things for today's bump date the last two weeks has consisted of me officially nesting for a baby so I have a couple nesting vlogs up and I have to upload one more so if you haven't seen those go ahead and check those out if you want but I've basically been driving myself crazy cleaning everything getting everything ready washing his clothes putting his clothes away making sure we have everything set and ready to go for him to come home so I kind of reorganized my room a little bit and I actually need to film a room tour once I have everything like officially set and because there's a few things that I still need to like put away but I'm working on that so be on the lookout for that. I also officially got everything ready for my hospital bags and everything is in my trunk because if you don't know I don't live with my boyfriend so I'm constantly here and then there and so I just want to make sure I have everything um, for if I do go into labor and I'm not home at least I have my bags and everything in my trunk so I packed my hospital bags and I actually I have to upload those videos so 
Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last bump date, but I, going back to symptoms, I have had some really bad carpal tunnel in my hands, and so I try to work them, like squeeze them and move them as much as possible, although like technically carpal tunnel it doesn't get better with movement but if I don't then my knuckles lock up on me and it's kind of painful so I've been dealing with that um, but it should go away after he's born because it's just kind of related to like swelling and the pressure like on the nerves and that but that has not been fun. I kind of understand now why women in their ninth month of pregnancy are just really bitchy and moody because nothing about it is fun. Sorry not sorry to my friends and family, but... Alright, so before I end this video, let me just go ahead and show you guys my big old baby bump. So hopefully this is the last video my last bump date that I have with this big old baby bump because I'm over it. Um, but let me show you guys that now. So here is my baby bump. I have this cute little shirt that I got, so it says Tiny Miracle. But I am 37 and 6 days pregnant. So see all my lovely stretch marks. Um, belly button has not popped at all, so I know it's still there, but <laughs> um, I got all these lovely stretch marks, so that's super fun. But yeah, you might be able to tell he has dropped a little. guys so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video kind of rambly I apologize um, I'm just super excited to get this baby out of me to have him here to not be pregnant anymore you guys know the drill make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time in my next video bye